Well, it is the offseason here in the LCS, and I'm talking to a former LCS pro who is now not doing anything. What are you doing, Special? Not anything, apparently. Okay. All right. We've established it. We've established it. No, uh, so you are, where are you living these days? I am currently living in, uh, right here. Okay. Um, it's Travis's place. Okay. He's, Travis is an okay guy. Yeah. Okay guy, he says. Okay guy, I'll take it. Now, okay, why are you here and not someplace else? Well, you see, I am currently a free agent, and I haven't decided on where I want to go yet, and I don't have a place to stay. Um, I think I'll eventually go back home, but was I, I kind of wanted to hang out with Travis a little bit. There we go. That's good. Now let's let's sort of take a step back and talk a little bit about everything that's happened to you in the last couple months. Uh, starting off with Team Liquid, I think a lot of people felt like they were going to go to Worlds. Uh, you guys had, I think you just had to win one game, uh, like several times. Like it was just like you were always one game away or something like that, and things just didn't end up panning out. Uh, why do you think TL, you know, sort of slipped at the very end there? Um, I said this before. It's really hard to pinpoint one reason. I think it's a combination of things. I think. When it came down to it, we weren't as good in our macro play. Um, we didn't work that well on a team. And, I mean, a number of things like coaching just felt like we weren't good enough. And we were really close. I really thought we would make it to Worlds at least. But, you know, Cloud9, they deserved it. They did better than us. And they beat us in the gauntlet. And that was kind of our last shot. So, unlucky. Now, were you surprised when they came to you and said, hey, uh, we'd like you to step down from the team or we'll be forcibly stepping you down from the team? Hell yeah. I had no idea. I was, I thought I was doing great. And I just, I was like, wait, are you serious? Like, what's what's going on here? Um, yeah, I, I hadn't feel that way at all the whole season. I felt like I was doing fine. I mean, obviously, there are some games in regular season that I didn't do so well in, but that's the regular season. And, and you know, I did really well in the playoffs, I felt like. And I was like, all right, well, um, you know, Steve came out to me like, do you want any changes on the team? I was like, no, I think we're good. I think I uh, just got to fix our coaching stuff and, you know, kind of move on. Yeah. So then how did you take, obviously, you weren't expecting it. How did you take it? Were you, is there animosity between you and the team now? Or were you upset? I mean, how did, how did that all go down? I think it's very reasonable to be very upset or reasonable to be angry as well, but I don't think that's needed. I think that, I mean, it is a team in the end, and I felt like, you know, if this, they actually think that this will benefit the team, then what can I say as one of the members, especially since it's, since it's myself? I can't be like, well, I think I myself will be the great, will be the best fit for this team. I can't, I can't say that, obviously. I have to, you know, go with my teammates. And some of my teammates supported me. Some of them were neutral. Some of them didn't. And so in the end, I was like, yellow. Just, I'll just, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I'll just, I'll just go somewhere else. And, um, you know, I had an opportunity to play for TLA, the Chandra team. I was like, uh, no way. I think I'm still a solid support, like, you know, really good. And I don't want to play in the Chandra scene, um, you know, unless... Some, so unless there's a very compelling reason. Yeah. So it's been about a month or so since you became a free agent. Not really. Been three weeks, maybe two weeks. Right. It's hard to keep track of of all this stuff. Well, I guess I should say since you got uh, since you you left Team Liquid's main roster, it's been a little bit longer. And I know that since, at that point in time, you you had the opportunity to start looking for stuff, right? That's true, but I wasn't really free agent until the last two weeks just because of how contracts work like i wasn't actually officially off a contract until yeah. two weeks ago so that's when i would consider myself a free agent but yeah I, I guess the news has been out for a little bit longer than that so then are you if you don't mind me asking uh, involved in any active contract negotiations or signed with any of the teams or anything maybe you could just tell me if it's like secret you can just sort of say oh yeah something is happening um the only big thing that I was looking forward to initially was the C9 Challenger team. Um, that didn't go through just because I've said this in my blog, just like not every player was looking to play on that team, including myself. I was just looking to play for that one tournament um, and just some of the Challenger stuff and I was just bored and like want to do stuff. Uh, so that didn't go through, but I'm currently still negotiating with a lot of the teams. 
uh, waiting to see where a lot of teams end up, a lot of players. Um, yeah, I mean, being a free agent is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, when I think about sports, it's like, oh, like the player just sits there and get their agent and whatnot. But here, it's I'm like, hey, um, hey, uh, Jack, like you're free to talk tonight. Uh, you know that sort of thing. Yeah. So it feels I feel really scared sometimes because I'm, I'm talking to these like the owners of Ors, and I'm like, hey, um, I'm a free agent, guys, right. like. Are you guys free? <laughs> that sort of thing. So I've just been doing that the whole time. Yeah. It's a little intimidating to have to like go ask for a job or look for a job. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's because not not always it's a job opening. It's like, hey, like, would you hire a dishwasher sort of thing? It's like, yeah. do you have a job opening here? I don't really know. Like, what's going on here? Yeah. Now, so you got that going on. What what are your like? What are you looking for? You said you're not interested in challengers. So are you just looking for any LCS spot, or are you looking for something specific? Well, I'm not actually not looking for a challenger spot. It's just I want a really solid roster. Okay. And, you know, I don't mind having to go through a whole split of the challenger scene if I know this team will get into LCS guaranteed and, like, be a really top contender for LCS. That's kind of my goal. I think um, – I really think that this year might be my last year. I've, I've kind of said this before in the past, but now I'm, like, more down for this idea just because – I feel like I've been play, playing so long. All my friends, all the people who I've started with are pretty much gone except for Doublelift. And the rest are just, you know, all new players. And I think it might be around the time, but, you know, I'm not sure. Because yeah. esports is just so weird. It's so new. I don't have much to go off of. And, and I think at this point, I'm kind of one of the pioneers. I'm going to be one of the, the, the players, the first player to go from 18 to the youngest to oldest. Yeah. And... That's that's been a very weird transition for me. Where I went first one, I'm like, dang, got all these old people, and now I'm like, dang, I'm an old person. Yeah. So that is definitely weird for me. Now going to kind of a more serious topic, uh, there was a vlog that you did where you talked a little bit about how uh, you you said that Piglet didn't like you or something along those lines. Uh, I've since heard that Piglet did a interview with Team Liquid where he was saying. Uh, something along the lines of he kind of felt betrayed by what you said in that vlog. Do you have any opinions on sort of his reaction to it or anything like that? I don't think what I said was fair. I think saying that he didn't like me wasn't the accurate way to say it. Um, obviously, I it was you know I had to talk about it. It was a bit more emotional, um, and I actually meant that he didn't like me as a player. But at the same time, you know, I, at the, like the whole time I didn't really get that feeling from Pig. I didn't know. He didn't like me as a player. I, I had gotten along really well with him. I thought that we were doing great as a bot lane. I felt like we were one of the best bot lanes in NA. We pretty much never lost a lane um, in the whole season, the whole regular season, of, or the whole split of summer. I mean, we lost some games in the spring, but like I felt like in the summer we were always either even or ahead, and I, I felt like we were doing really well. And for him to be like, hey, I don't want to play with this guy, to me was, I felt really betrayed, honestly. I felt like I had no idea. I feel like if that was such a big issue, you should have come and talked to me, um, which I understand. But it's hard to not take it as he doesn't like me if he didn't take the effort to to try to keep me on the team, right? Like, say you like somebody, you will try your best to keep on the team. So I kind of thought the inverse of that. So maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I don't really know. Um, I've always had trouble communicating with Piglet. I don't even know how he feels in earnest. It's just different culture, and he's just very, very reserved. Yeah. And so kind of finishing up the interview, what what are your goals for this year? Like if this is really going to be your last year, you're looking at maybe a challenger team that could get into the LCS for summer or, you know, an, an LCS team. But what would you really like to accomplish in your final year? Well, this might not be my last year, to be fair. I, I said that, but I want my last year to go off of a bang. I want to stay. I want, I want, to, I want to do well. I want to accomplish one of my goals, which was – to do well at Worlds. Um, I haven't gone to Worlds in the past. Is that going to be an issue? No. The air conditioner just turned on, but it's fine. The mics are very sensitive. We don't even need to edit this part. Sorry. Um, so I was saying, I haven't gone to Worlds in the past few years. I really want to go back there and do well. I, I, I see Origin. I see Fnatic. I see these teams um, with players who have been around for so long, and I want to mimic them. I want to mimic them. Or even in some cases like Darius, who... Um, who did really well uh, for this for this whole split, and he is going to end up with a pretty big bang. 
um, those are kind of people who I look up to at this point, and I want to be kind of in their shoes as I step down um, in a year or two. Or I, I honestly don't know, but um, I've, I did, right now I definitely feel like there's a lot of negative perception. I don't think it's fair, to be honest. I think I've played fine. I, I obviously didn't have the best performance, but honestly, it was pretty darn good still. And I want at least that if I step down. And right now, definitely not there. Is there anything you would like to say to any of the special fans out there who might be watching this interview and wondering what's next for you? Well, hopefully this interview would, would allow them to, to know what I'm doing, at least for the next few days, weeks. And if they don't, they'll probably just ask me on my stream. But shout out to all my sponsors, all zero of them. And uh, thank you to uh, Travis and Damien over there. Hope I see him more in the future. Big fan. Um, not of Travis, though. And I think that's it. Thank you, all my fans, for supporting, as usual. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Well, thank you for supporting. You can check out the rest of our coverage of all things League of Legends at GameSpot.com slash LOL.